This is GOATS. We're on our way to Texas. Devin went down to Georgia, but we're going down to Texas. Looking for some cards to steal. <laughs> I doubt chaos is the best deck in goats. I don't think it is. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is. Uh, I, th I think I think you have some bias. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's Sam here. <laughs> we have Tommy. <laughs> you hate it when I do that. <laughs> I never know what you're gonna say when you turn on the camera. <laughs> 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 What's going on guys, it's Sam here and he's going to be showing off his GOAT format top 4 deck profile today. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you're sling blade now, but <laughs> that's, how it's, that's how Sam starts off his deck profile. He's like, What's going on guys, it's Sam here. Alright, so how'd you do today? That's what good. were your matchups? Turbo Chaos? Chaos? Duelist I mean. Kingdom Turbo. Duelist Kingdom Turbo. <laughs> Yeah. What would du Duelist Kingdom Turbo even be? Like, it'd be like, no, 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 it'd be like, Baby Dragon! <laughs> my Baby Dragon Time Wizard Turbo! And you can't kill my Baby Dragon because of my field power bonus! Nyeh. I'm working on a big box for a tournament coming up. I'm hoping I can get it if I can get the right price. Yeah. But it's a first edition Magic Ruler box. The, an original Magic Ruler box. This is gonna wow. be like, oh. okay. So guys, price support's here. This this is no. not this is part not. of the price support. Sadly, James <laughs> has decided to tournament to junk, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. We got we got Meta Match, we got cash prize. I played two Chaos, two Go Control, and a Relinquished. And then I played in Top Cut, I played another Go Control and another Chaos. So one of the guys I played twice. There's a lot of good representation yeah, so. today. I thought that there was an empty jar deck here today. No, there's not. Somebody just somebody just out. played morphing jar. Yeah, for the win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it threw me off. But uh, yeah, let's see this deck. Okay, cool. So um, it is uh, so it's chaos with uh, flip flip control, obviously. So a lot of the stuff's just standard stuff. Um, all the chaos monsters, um, three thunder dragons. And then we play hella flips in this deck. Um, like so the most flips. <laughs> all the like all the good ones, and then I just max out on some. And then we also play some extra stuff. Um, this deck is really good with the fact that you're just you always have you almost always have control of a flip on the field or in the hand. So it, you're you just overwhelm your opponent. That's the whole point of this. Like they they, they only have so many knocks mm -hmm. and so many blade knights or so many. You right, know what right, I mean? Right, so right. Um, so two knight assailants um, to Bugs, two faiths, three trains, and then three spies. Um, what's really cool? I think there's twelve. I think yeah, there's twelve all together. So mm -hmm. um, that's a lot. That's a lot of flip yeah, effects. It too. works though. Is that the guy that plays Sky Striker? Triff? Yeah. No, no. Triff is like pit, pit of the best deck ever, bro. <laughs> pit of the best deck. Like yeah, every day, pit of the best I think deck. He played Orcus, bro. Come on. Now. Orcus? I don't think. I don't think. Uh, I don't think Triff knows what a Yu-Gi-Oh card is that isn't half spell. I just don't. Like he, like I think that in when he plays Yu-Gi-Oh, he's playing his deck, and you're playing like made-up shit to him. And he just, and if you, and if you beat him, you cheated somehow. I think that's how Triff functions. My order of operations that I do stuff in is, if you if you get a spy first, set spy because obviously late game this. You, you don't you can only special summon so many copies out of the deck and then you want to set merchant after that Because if this gets knocked chances are you're gonna see thunder dragon anyway And then you set the Koichi and then you set faith very last faith only got knocked once today if you do it in this order Yeah, um, it did get soaked soaked up by that was nice to strict a time or two But you only got knocked once so yeah, um, I think I probably had 20 knocks played against me today and one of them was for faith so if you do it in that order then um, Chances are, then your face will resolve. Just save the face until mid to late game, and then try to abuse him at that point. So, um, two Sukiyomis is one way you can just abuse all that stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sangan. Okay, so me and Cooper decided on the way up here, we said, bro, we're just gonna troll everybody and set Sangan all day long. Yeah, but one of the things um, uh, Triff says to me, though, he goes, you have a party with the Macedonian? <laughs> it's like the first thing he fucking says, dude. Like, he's like, old Buffett shit, he's like, you have a party with me? Like, <laughs> like you have a party with me? I challenge Triff to a goat match. No, there's no pendulums in it. He won't know how to play it. That's what I said. Like, yeah, he played, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, like, he played me at goats. 
and then he was like, fuck Wang Hu. And he was also like, there's no pendulums in this. Those are the two things he said literally as we were playing. <laughs> like, those are the two things. And he, then when we recorded later, he like repeated it. He was like, fuck Wang Hu, and there's no pendulums here. <laughs> we're playing Ghost, screwing around. Everything's chainable. Breakers, the mirror force. <laughs> like, insane, stupid shit. Uh, game 2 Eagles, King Tiger Wang I look at my hand, I'm like, yeah, okay, screw this. <laughs> Where's my pendulum scales? So, somebody went as far as, um, Banishing one of my spies with Sork, tributing it for Thunder Dragon, activating Metamorphosis, <laughs> going into Fiend Skull Dragon, which negates flip effects. In it goes. Runs into this, and then, and then he just, and then he goes, he goes, really? And then, <laughs> and then so yeah, um, there's that. People will mind control this, and it does nothing. They just go neg one for the turn. Yeah. Um, anyway, so me and Cooper just decided to troll everybody. No, I love I love saying it as an opening monster because yeah, if they leave good. it, it like, it's great. Right. And then when you commit, commit the second monster, you don't right. care about to. And it's good, honestly. It's it's good for pressure. And then we, I, I like to tribute a lot over it with Thunder Dragon. And then you just you end up with the same amount of field and the same amount of hand. So um, it's good in the format. <laughs> um, these three cards. Oh wait, no wait, those are two. Those are also the best card in the format. These are collectively the best card. In the um, format. One thing I want to say about this deck is that it's like just do stupid duo proof. <laughs> so. Um, these four, obviously. Um, I play two upstart just for consistency. Yes. I really like this. Um, I hate, if anything else, I just hate seeing faith um, and not having a spell engrave. Um, and this is just two cards closer to BLS, two cards closer to Charity, two cards closer to Snatch Shield. He's the main villain. Right. And like that, that's a plot twist in its own, in his own. I actually theater. didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah. He's, he's, the, he's the main three. villain in the, oh, in the thing. Fucking so, spoiler alert. Yeah. It's, yeah. 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 Oh, now I'm never gonna watch it. Now I know the plot twist. I'm sorry. Man, you didn't even say anything about the funny ass names of the Earthbound Immortals. No, but okay, okay, but GX, yeah, but like down to Zalug, like being like discount uh, Christopher Walken. I'm, I'm yeah. Professor Zalug. <laughs> I'm here to solve your problem. Oh Stab you in the face. Uh, don't, don't talk to my boy. Oh my that God. Way. I love uh, <laughs> so, so. GX. Or <laughs> say it again. Yeah. <laughs> He's a solder guy. <laughs> Two knocks. Um, card destruction, obviously, because we play two. This is the only pitch. This in charity, in my opponent's duo, is the only thing that I actually pitch off of. Mm -hmm. Night of Salem. I, ha I hate having the dead dead traps. I know that's probably like a uh, not a popular opinion, but it it works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, card destruction with cool man. Like I saw this in like three or four opening hands when I sided in, and I, if I needed to see my side, you know. I was, it didn't matter what I had in my hand. If I had BLS in my hand, I just was like, yeet. And then I like, threw it to the grave. <laughs> and I opened up Dust Shoot after that, and it was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, great um, three Book of Moon. Book of Moon is, I, I want to keep this video short, so we're going to try to talk very minimal about Book of Moon. Book of Moon is just ridiculously good about, with everything in the deck, if you have any flips, you can be able to put pressure on, just tack your tack, and then if they activate anything like Sakurai Ring, whatever, out it with this, and then they have to out the face down again. Um, this gives your protect your chaos monsters protection. Um, this is just yeah, that's that's it. It's just a good if you have two in your hand, pitch one for charity or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and then we play three traps. These Best are your, these are your side out games two and three. Um, yeah, we'll get into the side. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Here's why those are the only three. Conveniently, yeah, we side out exactly. the for roll decree. If I see judgment. If I see anything out of the ordinary, or if I see multiple dust tornado, if I see judgment, if I see bottomless, if I see compulse, these automatically go in uh, because it um, it just makes it a neg one for them if they see two traps. Uh, a lot of times people will set two traps or whatever on in phase, and then I'll just flip this first turn. I win those games because <laughs> uh, then I can start pushing uh, with you know my cards. Uh, dust shoot is really for. I use it mainly against just like warrior decks. Yeah. Um, because Chaos mirror match too. Yeah, yeah. So like Blade Knight and uh, like level two swordsman stuff like that will just really mess me up. Um, we weren't allowed to take notes at this tournament, but I like to. I'm a big note taker. I would too. If we were. <laughs> yeah. So I love dust shoot for that reason. Um, so I play triple mind control because I've been stealing people's magician of fates all day. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, <laughs> all day, <laughs> and uh, I played Cooper in round one, and we both play Gravekeeper Spy, and we were just mind controlling each other's spies, especially my other deck. It's also great to just steal your opponent's chaos monsters um, or clear their board if you need to go for game. Yes. Uh, yeah. 
Um, and then three Dust Tornado. I only sided this in against, the only deck I really sided this in against is Burn or um, Go Control because I can try to get their in-face scapegoats because obviously Roll Decree doesn't work against scapegoats. Yes. Um, those were the only 12 cards I sided all day. So. No, 15. I mean, 12, there's is. three more. The uh, Skull Dog Marion or whatever that just goes back to your deck. Right, but you don't have the light. Uh, no, two of those in the Electric Snake, but I didn't set those in today. Gotcha. And like, no, no, nobody played um, uh, Jar today, anyways. Um, no. uh, and, Bur and against Burn, like De Decree's really the best side, anyways, yeah. because of Skill Drain and yeah. all the traps they play. So pretty yeah. much. So uh, that was it. Yeah, the top four. Shout out to Metal Mats for the cool mat, and then um, that's it, man. All right, you guys. You, you need to give me your deck list and tell me all the cards that you're playing, and, and you also need to tell me what cards you draw when you draw them. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll let you know when I drop Pot of Green. All right. Play it. All, right. <laughs> All right, you guys, it is finally here. We have the first place deck profile. Oh, wait, that's not me. This is No Judge Joey. <laughs> this, I call this guy No Judge Joey because, sure enough, I, I see him today. I'm like, hey, don't I know you from somewhere? He's like, yeah, you always think I'm a judge. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, you're the guy I always think. Yeah. So this is Joey. I always think he's a judge, and he's No Judge Joey, and he won today's tournament. So what yep. did you win with, man? So today, we, I mean, we played a go, control, or go format today, and I chose to go with a more chaos chaos control build. It's gonna be a really good tournament just to beat Sam and he's cutting my deck I wanted, wanted to beat him again. <laughs> Whatever. Shit. He'll beat me when it counts though because that's usually how it works out for me. We want to max out on a chaos sorcerer because yes I mean I think the more you play the more you, I mean, you just want to like out everything basically. So I chose to go with three. Always play three. Yeah, and it's control version, so like I, we play meta. So like we just want to like out everything and you know keep control. And then I chose to you play, play Thunder Dragon, obviously. Best card. In the it's a plus deck. one. It's great. Combos with you know graceful and protects against duo. And you know it's a light, obviously. It's like the best light, guaranteed light for the, the boss monsters. So yeah, it's control, so we uh, play Tsukiyomi, mm -hmm. the metas. Wait, wait, I didn't, I didn't hear my name. Oh, oh, because I got super first place, that's right. like above first place. Yes. Yeah. Right. You don't need to be in top first. Yeah. Jesus powers, activate! <laughs> <laughs> Chose to play two skate boots. Uh, mainly because uh, I found myself locking myself out a lot, and I decided to go back down to two. And then I added... Sometimes it clogs. Yeah, I mean, we we'll always, we'll always have Serpent as a level one target, and I added this one. I like that a lot, yeah. yeah it's a level one, it's perfect. It's Dekoichi, but level one. Yeah. yeah, and obviously the face is a, a level one, so meta's not... Oh, meta's never really dead, usually. It's, I can usually find a way to make it live. Sure. So it's kind of chaos, go control, hybrid stuff yeah. right, going on right now. Um, played a Sword Priest as another light. Um, I was playing skilled white magician for like the longest time, practicing for this tournament, but I decided to cut it for a card that actually does something. Yes, and uh, it, going back to your hand actually, like in dodging Thousand Eyes and stuff does help exactly, a lot. Exactly, yeah. yeah, it dodges a lot of like meta, it dodges meta and sorcerer, it applies pressure. So, so why do you try to keep trying to get this poor man to gamble? I mean, gambling's the way it's at. But, but he keeps saying no. He keeps saying no. He, he's obviously already out of the tournament. That's how you get those hobby leagues. But, but I got some hobby leagues for you, bro. It's okay. You can't have them though, but you can look at them. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> play Breaker. Uh, yeah, I cut. Uh, I played two skilled whites, and then I just cut cut them for these two because they actually do something. Awesome. Uh, flip, flip or yeah, Dequichi is like uh, extra flips. Yes. I, I like Dequichi just because you know you kind of want to see it turn one and then have it and then apply the 14 pressure, just a little pressure. Yeah. It draws a card, it replaces itself, and then it's another. It's just an extra flip flip effect for Sukiyama. Yep. That's cool. And then uh, Sangin. I think yeah. this is the best card in Goat. It, it is. I mean, uh, somebody resolved it like three times on me today, though. Like, <laughs> like it's actually. <clears throat> oh, what's up, you two? Uh, uh, yeah. A prodigy here. This is a safe, like, dan like just apply pressure. So that's why I think it's the best card. Like, Pottery doesn't deal damage, but Sangin does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See, 
yeah, pot of green, obviously, oh, these three. Um, I actually have like a rank two fake pot of green. It's like a <laughs> rank two, I'm not even playing, not why. <laughs> but Trinity, yeah. yes. Uh, Snatch Steel. Um, I did play Premature Burial, you know, because, uh, I don't know, I didn't play Air Knight, so like the revivals aren't as great. But you probably do play the call. It's good. It's cool to bring back uh, Chaos Monsters and like, no, I didn't play Call either. Really? It's cool to play, no, I don't know. I just think the revivals are like dead, like early on, so like I decided to like... Call in the battle phase is just fun. Holy cow. Dude. That's sick. Yeah, the raw mat? Meta mats, guys. Uh, Dave is Dave, the man. He's oh, the man. He don't, he don't fuck around. Too. He's like, go tournament. You guys need mats. Oh, I got gotcha. you. And, and, I got gotcha. you. And the quality of <laughs> mats, by the way, are fantastic. They oh yeah. Are Amazing. Better mats are definitely some of the best. Sorry around. for the win. A heavy Storm, MST, back row removal. Yes. Uh, we also played the two dust tornadoes. Um, I just want to clear the back row so I can get, uh, make my, you know, make it clear for like the sorcerers and metas. So like, I don't know. I really like a back row removal. Right. Just to make you know, make life simple. And uh, you know, Nox and Book of Moons. Uh, Book of Moon is like literally I. I don't know, I hate this card because it's like an inherent neg one, but like I like it in this deck because it protects your protects protects your sorcerers and it's just good to have with something. It's not good on its own ever. And then for the trap cards, I decided to play it. These are like the three best ones, obviously the three one ups. Yes. And then I decided to play these because a lot of people are playing the warrior deck and that, that, that deck likes to attack you. Mm -hmm. So like I wanted to stop them attacking me. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Waiting for this to wrap up. Having a really great time down here in Texas, guys. Rangers game was on, but you know, Rangers, they, they suck. Yep. It's just nice being able to get Sangana back and uh, the, uh, double in on your opponent's battle phase and stuff with uh, Call exactly. Um I mean, the extra deck is pretty, like, whatever. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what the extra deck looks like, but this is all I rocked with today. So it's like the best ones. Yeah, 3,000 eyes, and then pretty much everything else drops off from there. Yep. yep. You'll have every, and one of every level, long story short, guys, if you are unfamiliar with goats. For the side deck, you know, Genzo played these, uh, these as the three tribute monsters. And to, like, complement them, I, play, I sided in, like, I actually never sided this in together, but like... Uh, this card is why I changed my build for today, because the uh, Great Proof Spy, um, I actually cut a Blade Knight for Mystic Swordsman because of that card, because that card is making a comeback. It's a yeah. really good one. I will say I'm not excited to play against Sam if I play against Sam, though, because uh, Sam made me change my deck before this tournament. Like, he didn't, like, he didn't, like, physically make me do it, but, like, I lost so bad. Like, so terribly bad. Like, I will say it. It was fucking bad. Like, I'm glad it happened, though. It needed to happen. I haven't had my ass whooped like that since like, I don't know, I got in trouble when I was a kid or some shit. <laughs> I decided to do the tribe for like go people who play the like go control and like uh, yeah. the scapegoats. And if I if I see sorry, if I see like spies, then I'll like sign it into nice. stop and stuff. And then the third Sakurati for like warriors and aggressive decks. Yes. Uh these are for like Dimension Gate. The goat too, technically. Kind of want to hit. Goat. Yeah, Dimension Gate. You want to hit like Reasoning and Monster Gate. It's really good. They can never. They can never use another one. Heck yeah, that's awesome. And play the third Dust Tornado and a Ceasefire. Uh, never use this, but it's kind of cute. Just to deal damage and. It's a flip killer. Yeah, just out flip monsters. And then three dust shoots for when I go like first, I guess, or like when I go against go control, kind of like put it back. They usually have a big hand, so it's like never dead. Right, it's like chaos. They have the two thunder dragons, and then yeah, and that's, yeah. That's you definitely want to hit chaos too. monsters with this. You can like hold it, and like whenever they, whenever you feel like they're about to go off with the chaos monster, you can use it that turn. Yeah. Or if they need to like pair this with like a board, like mm -hmm. you establish tempo and then back it up, back it up with this. Mm -hmm. like, you can hit their sorcerer or whatever, so like they can't hit your sorcerer with theirs. So yeah, there you go. That's no, that's really good. I can see why I did really well. It's a really good hybrid between the two because um like uh. Uh, something I realized playing Chaos a long time ago is I also liked playing Scapegoats in it as well because, um, especially because I wasn't playing a Sakuretsu, so it's having that, that extra defense really helped out. Mm -hmm. And um, playing a Thousand Eyes Restrict is just always, you know, busted. You run the board and uh, it's the best control monster in Goats. Definitely. And so, yeah. That's all it comes down to. Thank you so much. No I'm joke, not. Joey. Um, everybody else that kicked my ass today, say hi. Uh, yeah, dude. You got this done. You got, oh, no, it's a dude. Yeah, so, Steven, where'd Steven go? Where's Bron? Yeah, where's Bron? Over here. So I drew, I drew the Thousand Eyes, the Goat, and the Meta. Steven drew Cyber Jar. Uh, what is this? Knock, MST, Sukiyomi, and there's a Judgment right here. It's hard to see though, because it's all kind of. That's cool. That's awesome. But yeah. That's how we're gonna. I think that's how we're gonna end this. 
Yeah. Hell of a way to end the day. And congrats on first place, by the way. By the way, I won this match. It's pretty yeah, cool. yeah. This match's cool looking. Look at this thing. Right. Yeah, all right. Everybody say, enter Yugi Jesus for 10% off on metamats.com. Yeah. 10% of it. Yeah. Oh, fuck Bortle. <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs>